Thailand is referred to as a land of smile. Buddhism is declared as national religion, and there's only 1.4% Christianity. The reason uh, Dara and I came to Thailand because we felt God's calling upon our life, especially to our people, uh, our Thai Dam people, that who still need to hear the truth about Jesus Christ. We are the missionary ambassador from Global Missions of the Open Bible, USA. The first two years of our work has been building relationship with the Christian churches here and help with whatever we could with um, worship and teach the Bible. There was a missionary that came to this area and evangelized among the Thai Dam people and started this church. And the church was built about 40 years ago. Due to the condition of the building right now, we are not able to use the building for church service. Termites are uh, destroying the wooden beam, the roof falling down, so we need a new building. When we back home and we saw Pastor Aaron. He said, Mike and Dara, when you have a land, let me know. I'm going to bring the move team and build a church for you. And we thought that's almost impossible because land in Thailand is very expensive. And we kind of let that idea go. And he said, once we have the land, just let him know. And that when I still remember that when, when the church agreed to give us this land, I contact him right away. I said, Pastor Aaron, we have the land. For MOVE, there's, there's nothing greater than building a church. And to build a church in Thailand is a rare occasion. For the first time ever, we're taking over 50 guys. And so it is going to be one of the biggest projects we've ever done. Where do you envision the church starting? So put the, put the church building this way further, and we're talking about a 10 by 20 meter. The good news about this project is with, with a big team, we can do a lot of work. Entrance, bathrooms here somewhere, and we can, we can figure that out. I'm so excited on this project that we get to build our standard 10 meter by 20 meter church, which is roughly you know, 33 feet by 65 feet. We're gonna put columns every four meters. Secondly, with all these guys, we have an existing building on the property. This is a very good structure and we, it can be salvaged for some, for some other use. The roof is in terrible condition because they made it out of wood trusses and the wood has been termite eaten. So the idea would be to demolish the roof and ceiling, build a new roof truss system out of metal, out of metal trusses with metal purlins, give them another option for a, a building, whether it's an assembly hall, a, a part of the school. Um, it's a great building. With our prayers and God's, God uh, working through us and his faithfulness, they're, they're gonna end up with two usable buildings when we're done. Another problem they have is there's a lot of wild areas behind them. Uh, they talk about snakes and other things, and so we're gonna build a block wall across the whole back of the property, which is about 250 feet. There's gonna be block layers for the church and block layers for our back wall. There's gonna be guys just demoing the roof of the old building. There's gonna be a lot going on. The great thing about Thailand is that construction materials here are still relatively inexpensive by comparison to other countries we've been to. I believe this budget's gonna come in between 50 and $55,000. Dara's always had a, an idea in her head that this church should have a steeple. And so the other day I was just messing around, looking on the internet of steeples and churches, and I was trying to figure out how do we incorporate a steeple into this church design? So I sketched out a really rough little view of what a steeple could look like on the front left corner of our church, and uh, she really liked it. It just feels like, this is it. It's the church that I've seen, you know, in my dream, and 
And I didn't realize it would be here in Thailand. I thought maybe it would be in America. These people will, will be the beacon of light. When people drive past, they will see that there's a church here. There's this old saying, what's the value of one soul? The value of one soul is all our resources, everything we have. And I, I try and keep that mind of Christ where I am willing to do everything I can for one. And that's kind of moves heart in coming here to Thailand. God is as present here as anywhere else we've ever been. And we're looking forward to having all these men come here and help the ministry that Mike and Dara are pouring their hearts into and see if we can brighten the light of Jesus Christ in this dark area. So anyone giving to move or participating on our team, you know what, you are investing in this ministry. You're investing in the souls and the lives here in Thailand that, that Mike and Dara have already touched and are will be touching, and, and that's pretty exciting. And for me personally, you know, to see that, that we have a, a place of our own to do ministry, that we can reach out to our own people. This project surely brought us hope, renew our hope. With the move, being here to coming to build a new building for us, and it's almost like uh, the vision is starting to, to come, become a reality for us.